kind day to you all. I am Kinsmark, and this is Chapter 1 of Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky. A chronological prequel to Shadow of Chernobyl, and something of an anomaly for me, because I've completed Shadow of Chernobyl and Call of Pripyat in the past, ages ago, and I actually haven't played more than about the first hour of this game, and I have little memory of that, because I just couldn't stand it the first time that I played it. I had just come off of playing the first game, and because there are some considerable differences, I actually disliked the changes made for this game so much that I completely stepped away from it, checked out, and haven't touched it since. I can't even remember the cause at this point, I just had such an aversion to it immediately that I put it down and I intentionally put it out of mind, so I'm cautiously curious to check this out again now. I've acquired the Clear Sky Complete mod for this series, as one can see here on the menu, as I've already heard that it corrects a lot of the common criticisms of the default game. So, all that said, I confess I am actually nervous to commence this series, because I know so many of you have asked for it for so long. So settle in for another adventure in the zone, because the skies are clear, the counter is ticking, and I am ready. Cue the prologue. actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this happening. Likely say I've seen fairer days. My head's splitting and spinning too. Basically, I'm in real good shape. Do you remember what happened to you? Uh, I can hardly actually remember anything. I uh, I remember leading an expedition through the swamps, scientists, then the emission. That's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? Why does it look so much like the zone? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebede, the group leader. And yes. I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Cool camouflage you got there, Commandant. Consider it for your enemies. Oh. I guess I got lucky then. Lucky? Hmm. I doubt it. The facts are these. You survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. 
The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudodarks, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, every day. I need to finish what I'm doing, so let's continue this conversation later. All right then. I am alive. Can I actually move? Can I have some control over my limbs? I can! Alright. First task. Talk to the barman. Alright. Ah. Uh, I confess. Ah, the memories, the nostalgia, the atmosphere. I adore it all so much. I had forgotten. Alright. Ah, cool. <laughs> ah, clear sky complete driver. If this is the first time you've seen this stop error screen restart your computer. Ah, come on. Clear sky in the x-ray engine. Can't even escape it inside the game itself. Alright. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to commence this series. Because I've had ambitions and intentions to start this for so long. Alright. I assume I should head toward the arrow on the minimap. Ah, the guitars. Alright. So I assume I should probably follow the stairs. I am glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. You say so. Let's see here. I've seen all types of folks in the zone. Some just come here chasing their dreams. Some come in search of the zone's wonders. And some are just looking for loot. Play this clear sky, study the zone. People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil. Others, a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be, or indeed are, completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. Considerably philosophical for an apparently military man. Or at least... Can I call them paramilitary? I suppose? Anyway, so... What is the zone? Young man, if only I had the answer to that question. We are studying the zone meticulously in hopes of finding it. The zone appeared as a result of the actions Let's call them misguided human actions, and we are unable to return to the status quo. The zone cannot be destroyed, nor will it disappear of its own accord. We, Clear Sky, believe that there is only one way to reconcile man with the zone. Coexistence. Why is the zone having the shakes? I know anything about that. How can I best explain? Uh, let's put it like this. Any complicated system in nature, and that includes the zone, automatically seeks equilibrium in the absence of destabilizing external factors. That was the case here in recent years. The zone was stable and there were no significant deviations from the norm. And now? Now we've seen a gigantic emission that has changed the face of the zone. The system became unstable, distorted, a glitch of sorts. The zone is spewing out emission after emission and pumping itself full of energy with each one, so much so that the readings on my sensors oscillate with unbelievable speed. And unless we find a way of reversing this trend, the result will be a disaster of far greater proportions than the 1986 catastrophe. The most important lesson in all this is that this glitch is not a product of natural causes. This is human handiwork. 
I wish I knew whose it is. That's what we are attempting to find out. Perhaps knowing who disrupted the zone's equilibrium will give us a chance to prevent a disaster. Is it really within man's power? Since man caused this mess in the first place, man may well be the only one able to set it right. In any event, I very much hope that is the case. I'll call that an optimistic stance. In what way, exactly? What is the point of the rescue plan? I fear that question is not one I can answer. I suggest you address it to Lebedev. Okay, see ya! <laughs> Alright. I think I can consider Scar a light-hearted individual. For all of his hard looks. So, uh, cool. Apparently levity is this Merc's means of Welcome back dealing with everyone. things. Uh, cheers. Cool music you have playing here. I like it. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of here. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. I just might. Try me. Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son. Ah, cheers to you. You should help you relax and tell me about your adventures. Because I just died of curiosity. Ah, I can't get out of here, can you? All right. Uh, there is not much to tell. I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when an emission hit. I remember nothing after that. I regained consciousness here. So, now you tell me what happened. Well then, you drink and I'll tell you about this place. Can't argue with that. It's been pretty quiet here. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah. It wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. Aha. Uh -huh. How did you end up here? I was collecting bottles one after another. And they let me here. <laughs> I'm kidding. The truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. It didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are alright, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. Because you crack open cold ones for all the boys? All right, then. Um, about this place, would you give me a clue as to where we are? In our base, as you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. <laughs> All right. I'm no stranger to the zone yet. I've never heard about Clear Sky. How do things work here? You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Bimpolev. Professor Bimpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than... Well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Cool. He knows what Leave the alone with your dirty jokes. Work, I need to see that. him. Well, brother. All right, then. The says he needs to see you. That ain't up for a discussion. Go on. I'll catch you later. Well, next time Cheers, you're the swamps, don't be a stranger. I certainly shan't. All right. I am curious just uh, how many of the atmospheric elements of this game are changes from the default. So I ask the comments to uh, alert me to those changes as I come across them, because I already heard that on the main menu uh, the change to the soundtrack playing there. I could just sit here and soak up the atmosphere all day. 
Alright, yeah, cheers! Admiring my uh, survival, are you, Gleb Colonel? What's your problem? You're just sitting here, taking a little break. It's nice and quiet, no one around. Nah, no one at all! I mean, just all the people that are here in the Clear Sky Compound. What's new in the zone? I may have missed some things. They say the emission has made ways to many different places, not just the swamps. The usual stalker habitats have turned into anomaly mazes, and the places no one could go before are now open for exploration and looting. What are you doing here? Waiting for news from our guys. They're deep in the swamps on the mission. It's times like these, they might need our help. Tell me about this place. We gotta do something or it'll be too late. The zone seems to be waking up from a long dream. The last the mission was so strong, it felt like the whole world was coming to an end. We can't just dig in and sit here waiting for a real disaster. I don't feel like even imagining the aftermath. Suffice it to say, the original Chernobyl explosion would seem like a child's firecracker in comparison. Okay, see ya! I should see a Lebedev. I should also call out that uh, I can hear the fact that he has the same voice as the Sea Consciousness Professor from the end of the first game. I can only assume that's because GSC Game World only had so many actors? I can't say that for certain, though, because as this is a story set ahead of that first game, maybe he joined it at some point? I can't say for certain. Hey. All right, man. You seem a little uh, down the boat. <gasps> Nimble! Ah! Oh, my friend! Ah, uh, I, I, uh, oh. can't talk about your future much, man. I, hmm. <sighs> Again, he just uh, can't help himself. Cause the man is narcoleptic. He's just already nodding off and just. Uh, 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 no, dude, I haven't slept for three days. What was it for? Let me catch some Z's, I... I... Ah! <laughs> Alright. Cheers, Lebedev. Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me Cossacks. fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. I, I, Don't I try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Ah. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Clearly. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. Changing all of the fundamentals of reality. Come on! I couldn't call that the most wondrous phenomenon. I, I mean, I, I just, uh, I'd, I'd consider it, uh, Interesting. Why are you hiding? As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. I can't help feeling like all of those things Clear Sky avoids are necessities for any amount of survival or success in the zone. I might consider Clear Sky a naive faction. I'll just uh, ask what's so peculiar about the omission though, because I mean, I, I should probably seek to minimize offending Colonel Lebedev. No, that emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. I the well-known and there. relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now, you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Cool. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people. I can and see that, that became evident right away. 
The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. Call me lucky. If I knew how I survived, I'd tell you in a second, but I don't remember anything. I see. How can I help you? I'd, uh... I, I'd better leave, because I'm not sure I'm all that interested in the considerable strings that I'm sure come with your help. I'm pretty beat up. I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? And the hell was that noise? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. I, I, I and I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. Cause uh, we only have a I was guiding scientists. Guys I would trust with my life without uh -huh. a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. Are you threatening me, Lebedev? What are you trying to say? We are having a very tough time here, Rysia. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. Concerning. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. Sounds like a you problem. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type. So we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro at that sort of thing. All that armor is just for show. Experience can save the lives of many of my... Uh, That's enough chit chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? I remember bits and pieces. I'm only helping you because they're there. Great. Get over to the trader, and he'll fit you up with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Cause I just haven't done anything around- uh, Cause I- I'm- I, 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 Creepy spooker mercenary man that just crept along guiding scientists through the zone. I- I certainly need all of your help. Okay. Trader. <sighs> A fighter is on his way to you. Issue him with all the equipment he'll need for the mission. Check. Roger that. Hurry. I'm heading away, alright. So, seems he's this away. Alright. Cool compound you have here. Ah, alright then. You're with us again. Cheers, so slow. Glad to see you. At last. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. Alright then. Thanks. Hey, is it always this stressful here? I've been ordered to issue you some equipment. There's no time for questions. The boys need you now. I'll just take that as a yes. Yeah, I'm gone. Alright. Head to the outpost with the guide. <sighs> I am so... So ready. <sighs> Alright, so. I have to cut this episode here because I know I've already spent a fair amount of time on this episode. Cheers to all of you guys for sticking around because, again, I know a lot of you have asked for this series for a long time and I'm excited to finally give it to you. So stick around for the continuation of Clear Sky here at Last Level Press. Thank you all kindly for watching. I'm Skins Market. I, <laughs> come on! I can't get through the first episode of this series sans screwing up the outro. Because, man, some habits just can't ever die. I'm Kids Mark here at Last of Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed. Oh man, I'm excited.